really a pleasure to actually have you all in this particular space and thank you all for the wonderful feedback and also the likes from our previous video where we talked about interesting things concerning the variant of COVID-19 specifically looking at the original genome of COVID-19 and how this is going to build into this particular video which involves mutation. So on our previous video we talked about the genetic information of eukaryotic cells which are mainly divided into exons and introns. Introns we don't really care about but the exons they specifically involve in the regulatory processes during translation and also how this is going to actually lead also to the open reading frame which actually produces proteins that are actually functional for various organisms and also the expression of those genes so that actually led us to COVID-19 and looking at the different segments of that particular organism's genome and how this actually leads to the functionality of COVID-19 in terms of the expression of those genes in that particular organism and we looked at this particular characteristic one it is a positive stranded single stranded specifically RNA which is a ribonucleic acid and this actually is going to be important for it so I actually have different segments one which involves the five prime untranslated regions and the three prime untranslated regions and then in between those regions you have the open reading frame which are 10 of them out of the 10 we have a couple of interesting things to keep in mind one involves the open reading frame 1a 1b we have the s gene we have the m gene we have the e genes all kinds of stuff in there and this is going to be crucial in this particular video where we are actually going to look at mutations and the different types of mutations what are the causes of mutations and how this is going to be crucial for our later video which is our understanding of the impact of mutation in COVID-19 and how this has actually evolved into what we have today involving the UK variant. So sit back and enjoy this particular video. The big question is what is mutation? Mutation here is known to be actually the result of changes in the genetic material sequence of that specific gene and this will possibly affect the protein sequence or the folding pattern that actually creates a unique type of protein. Now this actually leads to some interesting things that may affect that specific folding or the change in the genetic sequence. One is either chemical factors, we call them mutagenes or radiation or changes in various environments, either one from one human to another human and these actually changes actually comes from our translation process that happens within our specific system. It could be transcription processes where there is a mistake or translation and during the translation process we usually have reading going from 5 prime to 3 prime and we have different forms of format you can actually change from one codon to another codon and codons are usually coming in three nucleotides and reading from 5 prime to 3 prime each codon represents either a start or an end codon or we have various amino acids some the same some different amino acids so really interesting to see how this actually leads to the different types of mutations that we know of one is focusing on this we have two major types of mutations and these mutations either comes in one called replacements of our nucleotides and the other one here is actually known to be called the nucleotide deletion or insertion process and in this particular video we're going to look at the two and then we're going to apply it to all not only a real example but also COVID-19 and how this is going to be crucial for our variant in our specific case scenario. So first off we're going to look at the replacement of our nucleotides which involves one various forms that are going to be applied to our specific target gene that produces our normal 
beta globin so our normal beta globin actually comes in a specific sequence which we're going to be focused on which actually comes in this particular form where the orange one represents the specific amino acids that codes for the specific codons which is going to be leading now to our first type of replacement nucleotide which is called the silent sync anonymous mutation and in this particular mutation when we change one specific nucleotide in this case the third nucleotide which is C or cytosine we replace it with thymine and in this particular case what we see is that it actually codes for the same amino acid and in this particular case we can actually result in the same normal better globin gene therefore we don't have any dramatic or any change in the 3d structure of our specific protein however when we have another type which is called the Mises non-synonymous mutation this Mises form actually changes our A to a T and what happens in this case is that while we're reading the sequences we have the same amino acids however the codon which is the third to the last codon actually leads to our violin amino acid therefore this dramatically changes the structure and the function of our protein where it could lead to negative effects like for example we have our regular red blood cell however in our sickle cell anemia we have a different structure which usually limits the amount of oxygen that is transported and also could lead to clogging of our veins or arteries depending on the pathway that our blood is moving towards. Now, the other one here is called the nonsense mutation, and the nonsense mutation actually results in usually our process leading to a stop codon. So, therefore, where you have an A replacing a T at the last specific codon, there we actually have tag to be stop codon. So, therefore, this actually gives us our insight into the three types of replacement of nucleotide mutation that happens in eukaryotic cells and sometimes or majority of the times in prokaryotic cells or viruses now on the other side we have nucleotide deleting or deletion insertion where in this particular path we actually have let's just add a new codon that stands for selenine amino acid now this actually form of nucleotide deletion is called a frame shift mutation by deletion therefore this actually results in the loss of one specific nucleotide in this case t and therefore we have the other sequence actually shown and what happens now is that once our ribosome comes in contact here we actually have a movement of our reading where we actually fill that particular path with the other codons and therefore we have a different sequence from the other original normal better gene therefore instead of having pro glow glow cis and ser we have low arch arch and sir amino acids so now you all have a fantastic overview of mutation the two types mainly of mutation which involves the replacement of nucleotides and also the deletion and insertion processes we talked about silent mutation we talked about misense nonsense and also some interesting things involving the deletion and insertion processes and on our next video here we're going to be looking specifically looking at how those type of mutations actually apply to this particular variant coming from COVID-19 and how this new variant popular positions around the genome has some silent mutations but some of them may have misense mutations or nonsense mutations and how does that 
changes the functionality of COVID-19 in this particular variant and also looking at how this actually could actually get to some complex areas when we look at bigger organisms like eukaryotic cells and also we human beings we have a couple of advanced types of mutation don't worry don't worry it's not like the type where we actually see in mutants what is the name of this movie again x-men and not that type of mutation where you get like ice powers or dr xavier powers but this ones here involves interesting things involving the overall genome like for example we can actually have gene duplication we can have gene fusion or we have exon recombinations and all these different types of mutations do happen in eukaryotic cells but not really applicable to viruses because viruses they have a smaller genome which means it's more specific it doesn't require that much exchanges or presence of exon recombination processes but chances of that happening is really low so we don't need to really worry about that kind of mutations but on our next video we're going to look at how the specific type of mutations which are the deletion insertion processes and also that to the replacement of nucleotides how that actually impacts this particular virus and how different changes in the proteins do make an impact in the functionality of specific segment of our specific s gene which is the spike protein so Thanks for following me through this trade. I appreciate it. Please hit the comment down below. Let me hear your thoughts about the types of mutations that we have in here. And see you all on the next one. All the same as always. Please don't forget to subscribe because of course subscribing is free. And also hit the like by that way. Others can actually check out these videos and get informed right there. All the same as always. Stay smart and believe in yourselves.